Hello, some people have been asking about how to use uh, mocap or human IK with mGear. So I decided to make a quick uh, tutorial on this. So the first thing, uh, this um, this tool, it's under the animation tools. And you can see here there is three commands that uh, say something like import uh, mockup, then characterize and bake mockup. So the first one, it's the one that imports one preset a skeleton that it's um, yeah there in the center. This character is quite big. So you can see the size. And we need to um, use the uh, characterized biped to adjust this uh, skeleton to the biped. By the way, this only works with the um, the human or the biped IK guide or template that we have in Shifter. So it's it's hard coded to this template. If you change anything, uh, maybe works, but it probably it's gonna it's gonna fail somewhere. So specs like five fingers in each hand and the same name. So if you start changing too much, it's gonna fail. So before I do the characterize, I need to open my human IK interface here. And that's important because um, the way that this plugin is, is done or these tools are done, it's a bit cheap, honestly. It's not like the ideal or perfect tool. It was done for a specific project that we needed and then uh, didn't update too much, but it works, it does its work. So. First thing, it's just open your human IK. It's important because uh, it loads some stuff in Maya when you open the um, the interface here. So then I characterize my biped. So I come here and press the button. And it's gonna adjust the guide. So I'm um, sorry, the, the joints. So we can see here to the character. And here is the important step that it's I mean, it's really important and it's when we just do the characterize, go to the source and change to control rig unless one time. So you see, it takes some time and it's not only attaching the, uh, everything on the, um, on the character already. You can see here with the human IK, but also it's going to update some internal information on the, on the joints. So it's going to force to stay in this way. So now we can just go to none or every anything. And um, yeah, it doesn't happen anything. If if you don't do that, if you don't have this open previously, you press characterize, it's gonna break something. Uh, like it's probably it's not gonna work properly. Uh, less the last time I tried it. Um, but yeah, so that's something important to remember. Uh, when you have it like that, you can save your scene, and it's everything is it's good to go. So let's let's try to import some motion capture data. So I have here uh, mockup data from um, Maya that was, I think in the latest version of Maya it's not coming anymore, but if you have older version of Maya, you have this data here. This data is also mapped correctly to the human IK. So we can just drag and drop here one. So we have this fight here. Let me whoop, adjust this. I don't know why it's it's a little off here. Ah, okay. So now here in the source, I can change to my phi tree. And here we are. I'm just going to hide this character. And just let me play this. And you can see it's already working. No problem at all. So now you can just select any of the controls on the character and bake the mockup pipe. So just click this button and it's baking there. It's gonna bake this to the controls. Okay, so when it's finished, you can do two things. You can, uh, for instance, go here on the, on the world, uh, sorry, on the global, this control and you have the mockup attached. This is uh, created when we create a characterized biped and we can deactivate here. So basically, if I show you human IK again, I just show the input to control rig. You can see the control rig is here, but the girl is still have this, this animation that's coming from the, 
from the mockup that we just uh, baked. And you can see here it's uh, all the keyframes and well, we can check it like that. It's step it, but you can see all the data there. And obviously, if we want to go back to this, we just need to to mockup attach. So it's gonna do this funky zoop there, but obviously you don't need to animate this. So, and now it's, again, it's attached to the uh, human IK. So we can change the animation or we can change to another input, bake again, or whatever you need. So basically the recommendation here is once you bake one, you save this asset and you work on top of this asset. Then when you bake, you don't need it anymore. Um, so we you can just uh, detach this and then you can get rid of all these data that you don't need it. And you can see here, it's there and now it's quite faster because I just deleted the human IK. And um, the other thing is, uh, this is baking to the controls. So you can use and the animation layers or any other technique to clean up this animation or edit on top or whatever you want to do. But if you want to export to video games, you need to rebake again from the controls to the to the joints. That I'm not gonna go over that in this video, but uh, yeah, this is the way that you need to do it to export to, for example, to Unity or Unreal. Okay, I think that's all for this video. I hope it's useful, and see you in the next video. Bye bye.